So, we know how to test whether or not a graph is an interval graph in polynomial time, putting those two things together. Now, let's go back out and just wrap up things with a couple of observations. One is that we can solve the Dilworth problem for interval orders. We can characterize interval graphs in terms of forbidden subgraphs. And that's an easy task to do because here they are. And you're thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did that come from? Lecker, Kerker, and look at that word, Lecker, Kerker. That's, that's, that's really his name. He's a really smart guy. Lecker, Kerker, and Boland did this in 1962. And they published this list. These are the forbidden graphs that characterize interval graphs. Often when I've taught this subject, I take one of these little graphs at the bottom, and I say, OK, let's explain why one of these graphs is not an interval graph. And we walk through it and do it case by case. But how hard is it to obtain this if you have Galai's work in hand? It's really easy. Because all you do is go to Galai's work and take the complement and see if it's an interval graph. If it contains a K4, a C4, or not. And so, well, this was trivial on the one hand, but they did it in 1962, five years before Galai. So it wasn't so trivial at all. That's a, that's a, this paper, which I actually read, um, is about 25 pages long, and it's a very complicated argument. Now. Uh, I just want you to be generally aware of the fact that there is such a list and it has three infinite families in it. But the main thing is that from an applied standpoint, if you're faced with a challenge of testing whether or not a graph is an interval graph, you know how to do it and you know how to do it quickly. All right, so on quiz time, you've now seen a number of very constructive of things that I can ask you to do. I give you something and say, is it this? Is it that? Carry out this algorithm. Carry out that. Transitively orient this or show that it can't be. Test whether or not this is an interval order. Solve the Dilworth problem for interval orders. Lots of little things like this.